Welcome back. We continue a series that you'll see only on 12 News aimed at preserving important landmarks of our history. Tonight we visit the Northern Railroad Water Tower in Kingwood. Built around 1900, it was once an important stop on the rail lines that helped build our state. They hold sand, they hold glass, they hold coal, a few other um, commodities. And this tower helped fuel and cool the engines of those trains. It doesn't look like much now and was almost condemned until the friends of the cheat stepped in. And we really wanted to come in and help. They nominated the site for the state's preservation list and the tower was accepted in 2012. It's one of the signposts from the turn of the century that are hard to find now. The B&O had the plans for these, so they were all built the same along the line. Almost all of them are gone. So this is a wonderful representation of an, an industrial past. Since the Friends of the Cheat became involved, they've amassed a half million dollars for the project. We are poised to purchase this corridor and start building the trail. And we really see the tower as kind of the focal point, um, the, the image, the icon that represents so much history um, for this county and hopefully, you know, uh, a new future for this corridor. Right now, the tower has a dangerous-looking lean, and the bands have slipped down and look more like forgotten hula hoops than essential support structures. But engineers say they can save the tower. It will be straightened. It'll be sort of pulled over at one side uh, with cables, and then we will lift the bands and refasten the bands. The new Preston County Parks and Recreation Commission hopes the area will become a rail trail and more using land that once connected communities through industry to bring people together again. Farmer markets, uh, a gazebo type of thing for community activities. So uh, just uh, we have all kinds of vision. It's just the slow process of making it come together. And Friends of the Cheat aim to buy the land by the end of this year and have the first stretch of the trail ready by spring of 2016. You can check out this and all of our past stories in our Preserving West Virginia series. Just head to WBOY.com. We'll be right back with Bob Fulton and your forecast.